In the 1970s, Steve Jobs and others founded Apple Computer, and with the release of the Apple II, kindled the global PC revolution. Apple II dominated the PC market well into the 1980s. The growth in PC demand finally caught the attention of Big Blue, IBM, the established leader in the mainframe and mid-range computer markets. In 1981, IBM launched the IBM Personal Computer, which introduced the open hardware concept and took a rapidly growing share of PC market sales. But few in Taiwan noticed this game-changing shift in the PC industry. But Taiwan is in the Shenton and Hongjin, and so it's in the same microprocess. But in the whole thing, it's a big difference. Taiwan's electronics manufacturers, however, were still busy cashing in on overseas demand for highly profitable electronic gaming machines. Some in the Taiwan government had taken note of the computer industry's potential as early as the late 1970s. Technical advisory committee members also advised that Taiwan move swiftly to develop computer-related technologies. Soon after Taiwan's IC project began producing preliminary, positive results, ITRI was again called upon to take Taiwan's first bold pioneering steps into the computer industry. In April 1979, ITRI's Electronics Research and Service Organization formed the Computer Technology Development Operation with Bing He Yang as its director. The Computer Technology Development Organization was in the history of <laughs> Within three months, the Computer Technology Development Operation was tapped to lead Phase 1 of MOEA's four-year Computer Technology Development Program to establish fundamental microcomputer technologies. Based on IC Project's successful experience of introducing the technology of RCA, in September 1979, CTDO sought a similar technology transfer arrangement, this time with US-based Wang Laboratories. Mayo in 1980, while ITRI was quietly exploring future avenues for Taiwan's computer industry, most domestic manufacturers remained focused on making electronic gaming machines. Only after government clampdown starting in 1982 did firms start rethinking their future. In order to survive, many turned to manufacturing Apple II personal computer products, sparking a wave of copyright infringement disputes. 那其實他一講這個蘋果牌電腦裡面一個很重要的原件就顯示器是台灣已經在供應了,那開始供應鍵盤啊,外殼啊這種東西,所以很多人就很就就進來做了,所以這個是台灣過去的一個一個產業的生
软体智慧财产权的了解。如果人家软体不授权给你，你应该是一点机会都没有。所以我是讲说，在当时的状况 ，Apple 这个黄帽案子呢，应该是病入膏肓。Fu Ching Wang proposed an alternative course, developing IBM compatible PCs. 我一讲完了以后，大家愣在那个地方。我想他们愣在那里，我大概可以想象得出来，因为他们来这边只要是要解决被 Apple 告的问题，到底解决方案是什么？没想到我讲的这个跟解决他的问题一点帮助都没有。Fu Qing's surprising suggestion left even the meeting chair speechless. After a few minutes of awkward silence, Ming Zong Gao of Pan Asia Electronic raised his voice in favor of Fu Qing Wang's idea. 回来我就找我的主管金佳琪金组长，跟他报告当天的状况以及我的想法，应该联合国内厂商一起来开发 IBM 相容 PC 这样的一个事情。那么金佳琪呢，就带我去找杨先生。杨先生就听完我的报告之后，他是讲了一句话叫“乐观其成”。回来之后，我们就开始筹组这样一个团队，然后也打了一个电话。给当初的这个主席，呃，宋组长打了电话，跟他讲说，我们有这样的构想。那他听完以后，他觉得哎很好。他说，招商的事情由我来负责。In the middle of 1983, the Industrial Development Bureau recruited Acer, Systex, ADI Corporation, Zhonghua Computers, and Taiwan Sony to do joint development. This project, internally known as PC100. Went on to produce Taiwan's first IBM-compatible PC. Ding Hua Hu, then General Director of Urso, also gave it another name. We call MCP One. MCP One is M is this multi, is this multi, is more, more the meaning. This C is clients, customer. P is project, is more customers. 的一个共同计划，这是第一个。At the end of 1983, in response to demand from other manufacturers, IDB convinced the five PC100 project members to allow ITRI to relicense PC100 related technologies to four additional companies, a move that further stimulated the growth of Taiwan's PC industry. In line with ITRI's mission to develop technologies favorable for the development of Taiwan industry, the PC100 project was completely open to any company to invest in and participate. As the project progressed, ITRI's product development process guideline, nicknamed Great Yangtze Scheme by ITRI's engineers, immediately proved useful. 那你要做的事情就是要怎么把这个开发的程序越做越好，越做越快。但在这个过程里面，让我去想办法从很多公司透过个人的关系要一些所谓的手册啦、menu 啊，综合整理起来。那么看看他们不一样的地方，来参考我们自己的经验，那么就定出这样的东西。所以所谓长江万里图就是一个系统产品的开发流程。The complexity and detail in this SOP. Were what earned it the half-joking epithet "Great Yangtze Scheme." 无论这种才是产业基础的根本，那么大家就一定的语言知道同一的标准，那么谈沟通事情就很容易。所以我们就尽量让它能够出去。所以现在园区，我想讲大部分的公司，它的这个这个 R&D 开发的流程，你如果追溯久一点的话，都有工研院电子所那个电子产品开发流程的影子在这个里面。Quality inspection posed the next main hurdle. To avoid sending Taiwan products to the U.S. for testing and inspection, and to reduce costs and turnaround times, ITRI established the Taiwan FCC Testing Laboratory. It proved another critical step for competitive development. Securing access to the PC operating system was the last major hurdle. 
IBM PCs at the time ran Microsoft's OS. However, each firm negotiating separately with Microsoft would raise their costs significantly. ITRI once again stepped into the forefront on behalf of the entire industry.我們的那個就是寄轉的廠商嘛那時候他還公司還小他很願意我們就跟他簽了一個那時候我記得市價已經你如果買那個單機版在外面已經四十塊錢了那我們這邊還是用兩塊錢 while everything appeared to be going smoothly, products built on the PC-100 model were stalling in market sales. The main problem was that Taiwan had moved forward too quickly. I remember very clearly two things. One is in Taiwan. Now,有一家厂商就说,在市面上已经看到,呃,一个IC有两个port,可是它的价格呢,高一点点,所以呢,从价格性能比的角度来看,我们不应该用旧的IC,不应该用IBM的那一颗IC,我们应该换一个新的
。IB 呢也不愿口头上讲了，其实几乎是一个就是除了 IBM Bus 以外一个 legal 的一个一个版本了，因为我们是从头这样子开发到尾的。那对于台湾的产品来讲的话，我想在出口上不会有任何障碍。那对国内来讲，国内因为那 PC 刚刚刚刚上来。那我觉得要养成一个写 b u s 的这种人员不是那么快，所以那时候几乎是大家跑公园就是挖人。Itri's PC100 project experience paved the way for even more success with PC400. <笑> Again， 这个计划也是呃蛮巧合的哈。我刚好有一次，大概八月份的时候，我到美国 AT&T 去授信 Unix 这个作业系统。那有一天上课的时候，我一踏进教室，就有很多老外围在一起，叽里呱啦的，不知道在讲什么东西。我也撮合跑过去听，到底是发生了什么大事情。原来呢，他们在看着一一份报纸说。IBM 呢 ，announce 一个新的 PC， 叫做 IBM PCAT， 啊 ，Advanced Technology。那我一看，哎，哎，这个可能是我们的机会。The PC 400 project was initiated by Fu Qing Wang right after he returned to Taiwan. IDB once again recruited companies with three firms signing on as project partners. 刚开始要做这个计划的时候，其实我们就有想到。应该要把第一次的这一些教训，应该要在这个计划呢，要一并把它排除。才寄转给厂商没多久，销售的状况就非常好。我们的三家寄转厂商有一家呢，他曾经在一个月可以净赚四千万，而且呢，他们的 dealer 是跑到他的办公室，把现金放在他桌上，告诉他说：“你交一台，你就拿一台的这个钱过去。”哦，意味着说这时候是绝对的卖方市场。另外呢，还有一位前啊、呃、工业局的科长啊葛志刚先生呢，他也啊、呃、跟我讲过说，哎，他从来没有看过像这样子的还款方式，因为我们的 PC 四百的啊计、呃、转三家厂商啦，他们都笑嘻嘻的。然后捧着钱去还工业局的新产品开发计划的配额款。This cooperation model, in which ITRI contributed R&D capabilities and company partners commercialized the results, maximizes the value of ITRI's efforts. ITRI's next two PC development projects were able to catch up with IBM. We just thought, if we want to be first, we should just do it ourselves. Do it after that, we will transfer the technology. This way, we can chase the time of IBM announcement. So, uh. 后来我们的速度 PC 三八六我们就只慢了两个月，然后 PC 四八六呢，我们几乎是同步跟 IBM 同时 announce。During this period, Itri transferred technology to some forty firms and contributed over one hundred professionals to private industry. The foundations of Taiwan's modern computer industry had emerged with a model for international competitiveness and blueprint for developing other IT sectors. The success of Taiwan-made computers fueled demand for Taiwan-made ICs, which were increasingly made to PC product specs. It was the ideal win-win situation for all involved. Itri once again withdrew behind the scenes to research and develop critical technologies for high-end workstations and network servers. Actually, I think one of the most important jobs of the industry is to provide a lot of services. I often say. 看一个产业所需要的 missing link 是什么，赶快去把它填补。但填补完之后，是不是要适当的撤出？这就是管理上面的一个技巧或这个政策。But it was not all smooth sailing. In 1987, U.S. Customs leveled IPR violation charges against yet another Itri tech transfer company. This time, DTK Computer was charged with a BIOS IPR violation by Wogo. 这个事情已经解决了，我当时我信心满满。为什么信心满满呢？在写程式的时候，我就要求杨志坤
在里面，每每隔一段，我就将它加上一个 define byte， 就是定义一个参数，里面写的参数是什么身份证号。<笑>然后我记得开庭的时候，我就说，法官大人，我想请问，那个被告，呃，里面代码里面有这样一个参数，是什么意思？他说那是技术人员的。工作那是技术上的参数，我不知道什么意思，我就把我身份证拿出来，说这是我身份证号码，所以当庭他就知道他完蛋了。An underlying motive for the case against DDK was the similarity of its BIOS to that of U.S.-based Phoenix Technologies. Later on, evidence proved that ITRI's BIOS was registered six months earlier than Phoenix's, while the misunderstanding was settled amicably. The incident heightened ITRI's awareness that software was as important as hardware in product sales, and that software R&D capabilities were essential to protecting intellectual property rights. ITRI would protect its own product rights while taking the offensive against competitors. The determined, positive spirit that reigned at ITRI and supported its clean room approach during the creation of BIOS not only ensured ITRI's rights were protected. But further boosted ITRI private sector partners' competitive advantages. Notebook computers marked the next wave in PC industry development. Taiwan 当时是以个人电脑为主哈，但是也不是啊做的非常的大哈。那所以在这种所谓的啊要做整合成比较轻薄短小这个笔记型电脑呢，一个是啊技术方面的研发，一个是整合能力啊，确实是不够的。另外一个开发案呢、啊，至少是两三千万，所以我想对于大多数是我们中小企业为主的，是的电脑公司呢，它资金投入是太大的。Deputy Manager of Urso Market Development Division, Xi Chen Wang, promoted the idea of a notebook strategic alliance to help Taiwan makers enter the notebook market quickly. 那我就有一个构想，去把它做出一个诶共通的机种，一方面是建立技术。另一方面也是增加产业上这边的人才。哦，这个计划是算起来是蛮疯狂的 schedule 啦，因为事实上我在一一二月份的时候呢有这个构想，那个时候是十一月参展 c o n t e s t 那时间很长啊，哈、哦，十一月嘛，啊、哦，但是事实上计划在在成型一直到所有的厂商到期就已经七月，所以四个月就把它做完。But a strategic alliance also needed technology to back it up. In this regard, ITRI Research had produced a backlog of technologies in search of commercial application. 使用者最容易发现的那个缺点就是电脑太烫。不过还好是在我们的这个构装技术里面所提供的一些经验呢，提醒了我们说，在开发这样子的这个产品，应该要注意哪一些事情。那当然还有。在我们那个经济部专案里面，我们所学的，我在在工研院呢也也学到了一些技术，比方说像啊表面粘着技术，那他们使用这种所谓的晶片粘着技术呢，可以让整个 PC 板的体积尽可能把它缩小。The final step was to maximize the inherent advantages of strategic alliances. 在这种所谓的策略上面，我们是有很多方面的优势，包括经济方面呢是降低成本、共同研发，那把规格标准化，哈，那符合经济规模，哈。那在技术方面呢，啊，工研院呢因为有参与，所以啊，后续的包括有零组件的开发，包括是锂电池啦，或者是面板啦，啊，那这些啊技术的一个啊关键零组件的掌握，慢慢的在掌握，以及因为参加者很多。那各有不同的专长啊，有人做这个面板，有人做模具，有人做零组件，有人做这个系统整合，有人做 PC 板等等啊，大家一起来做这方面的这个整合以后呢，啊，就是大家有这种互补的功能，那促进大家的交流哈。那另外呢，这个标准化的建立以后，对台湾长期零组件的发展以及这重要核心的技术的掌握是很帮忙哈。At first dismissed as a player in the notebook sector, Taiwan's first notebook PC was created in just six months and was launched to much fanfare at Comdex Fall. Actually, the notebook at that time was not big because this kind of small and small thing is Japanese people who do it, so it was Japanese manufacturers that did it. But it was probably Toshiba who did it. Then Taiwan suddenly had 
很多，我们在是四十六个厂商，哎。Although none of the 46 strategic alliance firms grew into major notebook makers, their intense, coordinated effort showed to the world Taiwan's notebook fabrication capabilities. But this gave Taiwan a chance to make the products in the United States and get a patent. Then, I think it became a very important industry. 那么，所以全世界就没有其他国家能够跟台湾相比，所以这个蚂蚁雄兵啊，就开始就运作起来。Institute for Information Industry Statistics show Taiwan's microcomputer industry exported goods worth two million U.S. dollars in 1982. Industry exports, just a short five years later in 1986, had exploded to 393 million U.S. dollars. ITRI was a major driving force behind this phenomenal growth. Everyone knows that Taiwan is the king of the black screen era, and also the king of the black screen era. So this experience of basic training is just waiting for a chance. That chance is in the PC on the PC. It's just a big hit on the PC. It's just a big hit on the PC. 那么它有三十年的荣景，就是 PC 产业其实带动了台湾所有的其他的相关的产业。如果从历史的角度看呢 ，IC 跟 PC 的这个历史来讲，这这是很难得的事情。但是不是台湾创造的这个历史？当然这个可以有很多角度来看这个事情了、啊。也许台湾是这个 Intel 跟 Microsoft 更成功，也不一定了。The dominance of IBM-compatible PCs and its plethora of standard interface options are ideal fields for Taiwan's SMEs to invest their expertise and design and fabricate all kinds of components. This horizontal distribution of labor has been central to the Taiwan computer industry's growth model. IBM, the indomitable Big Blue, probably never suspected that Upstart Taiwan would one day account for about 90% of global PC production. Over the past three decades, Taiwan's PC board, desktop PC, and notebook industries have come to dominate global markets and made good on the nation's nickname, Computer Kingdom. The helping hand of ITRI has been ever-present in the flowering and expansion of Taiwan's now myriad IT and electronics industries. Now, ITRI continues to devote its efforts to cloud services and smart endpoints, next-generation communication, intelligent vehicles and transportation systems, and healthcare. ITRI strives to develop core technologies in both software and hardware, intellectual property, systems and platform solutions, and diverse applications and services. As long as Taiwan's computer industry continues to advance, ITRI will be there as pioneering innovator and tireless trailblazer.